Hey all of you, hope you guys are great. So we are starting with our DeFi exchange project and this is where we left. And as I told you that we're going to discuss more about the Solity Smart Contract and the V3 SDK, but I'll keep that for a side. Let's complete the project and later we're going to discuss about those SDK and the Smart Contract. So right now you can see that I have initialized my project on my local host and I'm using Forknet to do the transaction of the swap the token and fetching the data all of those things okay so i believe that you know that what is forknet and i have already made a video that how you can connect so if you still have any confusion and what it does make sure to follow that video okay so this is how it will work so right now if i click here here you will find all the token which exist on the mainnet so we have this bob which is my gmt eurt die ftx leo mate and veth so now what I want, I want to swap the token between with to die. So that's how I can do. If I click on this with, here I will have that with and I have zero ETH in this. Don't need to worry about this zero balance because I'm testing this with locally. That's why it's saying zero. But I have balance in the same address. You can see the MetaMask provide these much balances. Okay. Because we are using this as a locally, that's why you can't able to see the balance of this particular token, but you will find the other token balance right up here. But we're going to utilize this balance. So this is the address, the first token. If we click on the second and I want to shop with the, let's say die. If I click on die, right now I have this much die in my wallet. Just imagine that I want to shop to it. You can see this is our loader is working. It's fetching the data from the main net because we are using the forknet and it will tell us that what is the estimated output we are getting when we want to swap the token. So just wait, let this process happen. And here you can see this is the expected output we can get if we swap one ETH to ETHNA DAI. 2025.813704. So this much DAI will get and this is the pool we are using. So you can add multiple pool here, but here I have taken the pool for these two tokens specifically. So you can see this is the pool we are using and this much balance that particular pool has. So we're going to talk about each of these. Okay, don't need to be confused. So if you visit Uniswap, you will find that you will get the similar architecture here. The amount you have provided, the output you will get in terms of DAI. So it's working fine. Now, if you click on this swap and this swap will happen. So let me see where is my MetaMask. Here is my MetaMask. And right now I'm sending this to Ether. This is the price in the terms of dollar. And if I click on confirm, and here the transaction is happening if i click one more time i think and here i'm providing the confirmation to my smart contract to take my token and do the swap so click on confirm and just wait and one more i have to confirm here and i know why it's happening because i click twice so instead of happening two ether it will have four ether maybe let's see so i think i have to click one more time and here the transaction is happening yeah as i told you that it will send for ether so click on confirm and the transaction went successful so right now the transaction is happening at the background or you can display a loader so let me do the inspect element and see that what i get and right now you can see i got an object back and these are the data we are taking from the user and right now you can see this is the error message i got and if i reload the browser if I reload the browser and let's see what balance I should get. So if I click on this die, if I click on this die token and you can see the transaction went successful. The transaction went successful. If you come here and if you want to take the example of VETH, you can see right now I have this two. Okay, so that's how it will work and you can easily able to swap from multiple tokens. So right now I want to swap with the die to VETH okay sorry with two matty coin so if i click on this matty and here all i have to do right now i have zero matty so if i pass see this is the output i will get in the matty coin and here i have hard coded this value but you can take it dynamic and obviously i'm going to do that and display a dynamic pool okay so you can see this price is optimized and if you click here from here you can easily able to set the slippage torrent in terms of percentage but we have hard coded that value and we're going to make that dynamic as well okay so everything you can see everything is working fine and we have to work on the very first thing is that if we click here here you can see we get all these token so right now i have this wrap to stable coin and if i want to make the transactions all i have to do is to click on this swap token 
here you can see the metamask got open and now i can easily able to get the matty coin so right now i'm sending one eth and in, in exchange of matty so click on this confirm and here is the another one here we have to confirm the smart contract so it can swap the token so click on confirm and we have to confirm one or more time and just wait and here you can see this is the swap input click on confirm and the transaction is happening in the background so just wait for a second and we're going to add a loader here so it will say that okay so the transaction is happening once the transaction get completed will display the data so i guess this will the transaction went through now what i want i want to check the balance of the matty coin so if i click on this matty and you can see right now i have this much matty so we have successfully swapped the token from wet to die and you can do for any token so if you want to get any token you can get it so right now here we have the list of all the tokens so matty coin i have die coin i have rive either so you can just simply swap token in any one of these so it's also working fine so that looks pretty good hope you guys have got the idea that what are the things we going to do now the very first thing we have to do is we have to work on this right now you can see we have all of these token and these tokens are on the mainnet so we going to get all the popular tokens which are there on the mainnet which people do frequently transaction we going to take their addresses and we going to attach in our decentralized exchange so that's going to be the first work we going to do so come here we going to come and we going to go to the ether scans and i have already taken couple of addresses and the same addresses i will get here you can come go to this token erc20 token section and from here you can pick whatever erc20 token which you want to provide as a swap but in my case i'm i have already done this so i'm going to take the same addresses here so that's for the intro part now what i can do now let's get into the project so this is the completed project i have and we have done a lot of things into this so simply close this one and this is the unfinished project so i'm going to simply minimize this one and i'm going to open this one so this is our unfinished project so let me give you a walk through because of what we have done so far so right now you can see we have the artifact assets in this we have all the images we have this component inside this we have and this is where we left in the last time and in the context it looks pretty fine we have all the abis if we click on this swap and that looks pretty fine so these are the things we have done in the context if we come back to the contract we have written so many contract we going to write more contract and here if we come into this uh, like swap token here we have to do a little bit modification so instead of getting this hard coded value we can get it from the user in which he want to do the transfer so we going to modify this contract and there is a lot of things and here we going to build like three more script for fetching the price getting the pool data so a lot of things we going to add into this so let's take one step at a time so what i'm going to do is i'm going to first work on the context so let's start with the smart contract first so what i going to do come here and we can start working on the smart contract and let's optimize it for the universal so anybody can swap any token so this is the basic things so hope you guys have the same code make sure to pause the video and try to and just check your code that you guys should have to have the same code instead of everything's working okay so these are the code is there now let's start modifying this so very first thing we have to do is we have to simply comment this out and we don't need this hard coded value and here we can come into this functions and here we going to define the tokens so we'll say address we'll say token 1 2 so these are the two token we have and now we going to simply replace this so come here select this width click on f and here you will find this simply click on this replace with the first token and now we have the second token so let's come here click simply copy this second token and click on this find f and simply delete this simply replace this so these are the two changes we have done for this token and one more thing we have to do is simply come here we have to grab this one and we going to do the same thing in the exact output so right now you can see it's not defined so we going to simply place this and that's pretty much and that's all you need to do for making this to swap multiple token different token not the only two tokens and this looks pretty fine to me no more problems we have in the code and here you can see the fee is we have taken hard coded you can make it 
like five we can make it one but i will go with this because most of the pools which i have found this is the optimal fee they charge so this one is the fixed one and if you want you can go with the dynamic one but for the time being let's do with the fixed one and that's the only changes we have to do here now let's come here and let's come go to this so this is the smart contract we have done now we can go to the context inside the context we have all these codes so here we have to do the modification in the contract and we have to paste the addresses of the token so what i can do is so that looks pretty fine open up your terminal and now what we can do is simply clear the artifacts clean this will clean the artifact and we're going to work only in one contract at a time so let's come here here we have that this where it is this is the single swap token we have simply remove this one because we are going to redeploy this and that looks fine to me no more problems we have here and let's come back to the package json file before we do that let's come to the script and here we're not going to deploy all the scripts we're going to work on the only one script at a time so we're going to comment this one and we're going to deploy this one we don't need to deploy the token for the time being just comment this one and this looks fine so these are the changes you have to do we're going to work on this script close this one and before we do that we have to do a couple of important installations so right now you can see these are the packages we are using this is the open plane uniswap v3 ethers next react react down and web3 model so all of these packages we are using and we are using this one as well but now we have to install a couple of more things bring the terminal up and the first package we want to install is the axis okay so we are done with the installation simply close it and we have to install this router so we can get our updated price so that looks pretty fine so far things are looking good these are the two packages we have taken and for the time being that looks good to me so make sure to install this this router and the axis so we can make our api call so simply close this one and come back to the context not contract context and here we have to do a couple of imports so these are the things we got it from core sdk and now we have to come here and we have to create the two more files so simply close this one and come back to the utils in that utils we go to create two files so the first one we go to call it let's say so this is the first script we're going to write in this we'll create one more swap update price dot js this is another script we're going to write okay so that looks fine to me and let's come here here we have to import the file so let's do the import and later we're going to do it so we can say so these are the two files we have imported make sure to do that and that looks fine to me where we got that and now what we're going to do is here we're going to import the actual addresses okay so i'll provide you these addresses i have already done the copy paste you can take of your choice you can go to the etherscan find the token which you want to allow user to swap on the on your decentralized exchange but i have already taken couple of addresses and that's what i'm going to paste here and simply come here and simply paste so these are the addresses i have taken close to eight these are the addresses i have now let's open this one and we can come here that looks pretty fine to me no more problems we have here simply scroll all the way down and now we can start working so right now you can see we are not coming calling this function but we're going to call it so so let's do let's make this uncomment call this function and here we have to do the modification so in this we're going to receive data so the data we're going to receive is going to be token one token two and we want to take the swap amount so these are the data we're going to take and the data would come something like this so let me console log of that and the data will come in the form of object so i have to extract the data so we'll take this token one inside that we will have the token address addresses and we'll have this token address so this is how the data will construct and that goes for the second token as well so we'll say simply replicate this and simply paste here and we're going to make it too 
so this is the token one token two and we have the our amount so we'll the swap amount so this is how we're going to construct the data we'll take an object and in that we're going to take this addresses and we don't need to do any changes here in the contract because both the contract is ERC20 token and we'll have the same function so we can use this contract so that looks fine to me don't need to change anything here and here we have to construct the amount we want to show so instead of this one ether what I'm going to do is here we have to define things so we'll take a const and we have to de define the decimal point because every token is different from one another if you talk about the stable coins they have a uh, 18 some have 16 some have uh, 8 so these they have different decimal points so we're going to take that decimal point you can call it whatever decimal 0 and it's going to be 18 amount we're going to the sub the amount and here we're going to take that const amount in and in this we're going to take this ether package ether js package and that we have to convert the price utils will say parse and that we have to simply pass the amount so first thing we'll take the input amount and we have to convert it into a string once we convert that after that we have to we have to define the decimal point and that's the price that looks fine to me and right now we don't have anything so simply console log out console.log so we can get the output when we actually do the transactions so we'll say amount in that looks fine that's the changes we have to do and here we are simply passing the deposit in the amount to our swap router that looks fine here and here we had making the transactions and here we have to do the changes so here we are calling swap exact input single and here we have to pass the two token addresses so first thing i will do is i'm going to simply store it as a variable so we can wait transactions and we are storing the variables and now we have to pass the two token addresses so here we have taken that so simply grab this one grab this entire one copy this and simply pass it here and here we have to simply remove this pricing because this is not the pricing we are sending and this looks fine so these are the two tokens we have token one token two and this is the amount we want to swap once we done that we have to wait for the transaction to be completed and we'll say transaction dot we'll call this wait method and once we get done with that we're going to simply console console dot log the so right now here we're displaying the balance of the ether you can display the token balance but for the time being let's keep it like this we are not doing anything here we are just facing the balance of the die token okay so that looks pretty fine of our swap token and we don't need to do any changes here in the functions and i want to do a couple of changes here in this because right now we have this data we have these tokens so let's come here and here we have to do uh, and here we need the token addresses as well so we'll say token address and the address we have inside this okay so make sure to do all the changes whatever we have done here whatever changes we have done here to make things working so we have created these two components but we haven't written any code into this and now we're going to start creating the function so this looks good let's have a final look no more problems we have we have optimized this entire functions and this looks good to me so simply close this one and now what we can do is come back to the fetching price and now let's create one more file let's create one more file this call js so price helper and let's create a function into this and here first thing we're going to do is import the axis and here we're going to use the etherscan api tell you how we can get it and here we're going to simply build the functional so we'll say exports dot get a b i and going to be async functions will have the address it will take the address in that we have to construct the url and we'll say url and in that we're going to define the entire url and this is the url we have and with the help of this ether scan we are getting the actual price of the token so we can check the price and display in the front end that how much output they will get when they want to shop the token okay so make sure you have to get your own ether scan api which i will tell you let me write the functions so this is the url we have now 
here we have to get the response so once we get the response what i have to do is we have to say await we're going to use this axis and we're going to call this get method and in that we're going to pass this url so it will give us a response once we get the response we have to get the abi abi and we're going to use the json dot parse and that's in we have to pass the response dot dat data dot result so this is the result we'll get response and we have to simply return this to this function the abi which we need in other functions this looks pretty fine that's what we are doing here that's the very first function for getting the abi of the contract all we have to do is to pass the address and it will return the api of that contract now let's come here here we're going to create one more function exports pool dot and this time we'll call it get pool and then that we're going to pass the contract of the pool whatever pool data we want and we extract the data so we'll the data we need there is a bunch of data but the data we want is the token token first token and we want the token number two and we want the pool fee pool fee these are the data we need and this data will come from here from wait promise promise dot that's what we have and here we're going to call the pool contract and in that we're going to simply call token one function pool contract dot token two and pool contract we have the fee call this one this looks fine so these are the three data we'll get here and now we have to simply take a variable and that's what we're going to return so we'll say const immutables and that we're going to take pass the data so we'll say token what is going to be token zero we'll say token one is going to be this and now we have the fee we'll have the fee once we have the data we're going to return this data from here so we can receive receive immutable and that's and that's all the thing you have to do we have our xes we have this abi function which give us the abi of the address and this is the pool for getting the data okay and now let me show you how you can get this etherscan apis so here i'm back into my etherscan account and here you will find all the details about the account so all you have to do is come here click on this and here you will find this api key click on this here and this is the api key which you need to download simply copy and that's the api key you're going to simply paste here simply come and paste here okay so that's how you can get your abk and that's the only thing we need to write here in this function so we're done with this simply close this one and now we can simply go back to this this fetching price function because there we're going to need these functions 